There are two long-term parking lots around a large airport. The east side lot charges a fixed fee of $28 plus an additional charge of $4 for each day you park. The west side lot charges a fixed fee of $18 plus an additional charge of $6 for each day you park. Clint and Jeremy park their respective cars in the east side and the west side lot lots respectively for the exact same number of days. If the two men spend the exact same amount of money in the two lots, for how many days were their cars parked? It's an algebra problem. We're going to solve this algebraically. You really want to understand the context and the problem. So in the east side lot, you have to pay $28. It doesn't matter how many days you leave your car. But on top of $28, you're going to pay $4 for each day. So if you're going to spend, if you're going to leave your car there for two days, you're going to pay $28 plus 2 times 4 or $8. What happens here on the west side lot? On the west side lot, you're going to pay $18 no matter what. If you drop your car there for two days, you're going to be paying 18 plus 2 times 6, or $12. You want to make sure you understand the question uh, before you go to the next slide or next scene. And you want to make sure you, write, you have the question in front of you because the next slide will not have the question. It's an algebraic problem and we're going to first define our variable. We're going to pretend or assume that each person parked the car for x days. If that's the case, we need to find out in terms of x how much money Clint owes. Okay, Clint had to pay $28 and $4 for each day. If he left the car for x days, for x days he will be paying 4 times x. Um, so does that really make sense? Let's make sure we get that. Take a look at it. If x is 2, if x is 2, I'm not saying it is, Clint would be paying $28 plus 4 times 8 is going to be $36. If x is 3, he would be paying 28 plus 3 times 4 is 12, 28 plus 12, and that happens to be $40. So it kind of makes sense what we're doing here, hopefully. Okay, if, if that's the case, what happens to, to the next gentleman? Well, Jeremy owes, if he parked his car for X days, remember the question says they parked their car for the same number of days. Jeremy used the west side lot, Clint used the east side lot. Now the west side lot charges $18, no matter what, then $6 per day. If you park the car for X days, the daily charge would be 6 times X. Same argument holds. Question also says that the two gentlemen paid the exact same amount of money. That tells me that, the, that these two quantities must equal each other. Okay. So that's how we're going to set up our equation. This is our equation. 18 plus 6x must equal 28 plus 4x. Now this is the most difficult part, setting up the variables and then constructing your equation. The rest is very easy. Most of you know how to solve an equation like this. So let's go ahead and solve this equation. You can use any method. I'll just use a certain method. This is what I'm getting here. What I did here, I subtracted 4x from both sides, basically. I have 6x minus 4x. I don't have any 4x. And I subtracted 18 from both sides. And I don't have 18 here. And I have 28 minus 18 here. 28 minus 18 is 10. 6x minus 4x is 2x. If I want to isolate x or solve for x, I want to keep x on the left-hand side and leave everything else on the right-hand side. And one way to do it is to divide both sides by 2. And if I do so, I get 5. So x is 5. So that's our answer, and we are done. But since it's an algebra question, it's a good idea to check your answer. So let's, let's see. If, if Jeremy, if Clint uh, parked his car for 5 days, he would owe 28 dollars. Well, let me use that writing tool. I hope that'll work a little better. Let's see. Change the font. Oh, 
Okay, we are ready. So if Jeremy parked, uh, sorry, if Clint parked his car for five days, he would be paying twenty-eight dollars plus four times five, and that equals twenty-eight plus twenty, which equals forty-eight dollars. I'm gonna put a dollar sign right here. So that's what Jeremy uh, Clint would owe. What about Jeremy? Well, Jeremy parked his car for five days as well, so Jeremy would owe 18 plus 6 times 5 because he parked his car for five days and that will equal to 18 plus 5 times 6 is 30 and 18 plus 30 is 48, so that makes sense. That's our answer. Five days. And it works out. Each person paid $48.